In this demonstration, we are going to look at the importance of breakout time and a challenge to help organizations stay ahead of the adversary. CrowdStrike is the leader in cloud-delivered endpoint protection with a vast amount of real-world data regarding the different phases of an attack. The 2018 Global Threat Report included our latest findings around the timing of an outbreak. On average, the time between initial access and the first lateral movement is one hour and 58 minutes. We call that breakout time. The resulting challenge is to get ahead of the adversary and identify any incidents before they become full-scale breaches. That means detecting the threat, understanding it, and then eliminating it. By doing that in under one hour and 58 minutes, you can stop an attack before it spreads and causes real damage. Organizations need to hone tools and processes to be able to regularly achieve that goal. Enter the 11060 challenge. By setting goals to detect incidents in under one minute, understand events within 10 minutes, and eradicate threats within 60 minutes, we can prepare ourselves to beat the one hour and 58 minute mark with time to spare. In order to achieve those goals, it is critical to have an EDR solution that provides complete data that is timely, meaningful, and prioritized. To demonstrate the power of CrowdStrike's capabilities, we are going to look at a sample scenario and step through each phase of the challenge. We are going to show an attack that begins with a PDF document and leads to a behavioral detection. On the left, you see the Windows 7 victim system, where the user has already saved a malicious PDF from a USB drive to the desktop. On the right, we see the Linux system that will serve as the host for our attack. Our first step is to use Metasploit to set up a listener on the attacker system. We are also going to try to evade detection by setting the malicious executable up to immediately migrate into a notepad process. When the user launches the malicious resume.pdf, we will see how the victim system immediately communicates back to the attacker. Note that the interpreter session was established at 1339. We see too that the payload, evil.exe, migrated into a newly spawned notepad process. Once the session is established, we can get full shell access. We can confirm that we are admin on the box, copy evil.exe to a more permanent location, and configure a registry key to establish persistence of the exe from that new location. Now that we have seen the attack, let's look at how CrowdStrike's EDR solution makes us aware of this event. Immediately, the UI shows us that we have a new detection that is prioritized as high severity with a timestamp that matches the interpreter session being established. Without even opening the detection, we can get an idea of what behaviors were identified as problematic. We can see the attempt to evade detection, a conviction from next generation antivirus, and a known malicious file. In under a minute, CrowdStrike was able to detect and prioritize this event for our incident response team. Now we are ready for the second phase. In under 10 minutes, we want to understand the details of the event and gather any information that would be useful to our understanding and quickly formulating a plan to move forward. Let's take a deeper look at the information available through the Falcon UI to help us quickly understand this new detection. We immediately see that the trouble started with Adobe and the UI shows us the exact location of the resume.pdf file. That will be useful later in the remediation process. The process tree then shows us the launch of evil.exe, the executable delivered by the PDF. In the pane on the right, we can also confirm the original location of the dropped file. Under network details, we can see that evil.exe was in fact responsible for the communications back to our Linux server. The green arrow indicates that evil.exe migrated into Notepad in an attempt to evade detection. We can then see the commands that were run through the interpreter process. Xcopy shows us that the executable file was copied from the temp location to the Windows System32 directory. We want to be sure to get a copy of the executable and delete it from both locations as we remediate this system. Lastly, we can see the registry key that was created to establish persistence for evil.exe from the Windows System32 directory location. CrowdStrike's lightweight sensor records the detailed events on the endpoint 
and sends them to the cloud for real-time availability. It is the power of the platform that makes it possible for that volume of data to be correlated into prioritized events for incident response teams. In under three minutes, we were able to understand the attack and collect the information needed to fully remediate this system. So far, we have been able to quickly detect and understand an advanced attack in our environment. CrowdStrike identified the event and assigned a high priority according to the behaviors and next-generation antivirus detections. Using the process tree, we were then able to take a closer look at the complete execution of the attack. We learned about the source PDF file, the resulting payload, and the registry key. Now we are ready for the final phase. We must contain and eradicate this threat. It is time to utilize the response component of an EDR solution. In this scenario, the first step is to network contain the system. This will disconnect any existing network connections, allowing only communication to the CrowdStrike service. It also helps protect our larger environment from lateral movement. We can see from the attack system that the Meterpreter session is immediately dropped. Next, we will use real-time response to take action on the compromised system. On the right, you can see the Windows system and the immediate results of the commands that we are about to use. First, we want to kill the process supporting the Meterpreter session. We will list all of the running processes and look for Notepad, the process we saw evil.exe migrate into. We can then issue the kill command for that specific process ID and see it stop in the window on the right. Our next step is file collection and deletion using the details we gained from the Falcon UI. We'll start with evil.exe. We first want to get a copy for further investigation following this incident. At the top of the screen, you will see an option to download that file when it is ready. It can also be accessed from the UI for the next seven days. Then we will delete that file from both the System32 directory and the original temp location. You will see as the command is issued, the file will disappear from the System32 directory in the window on the right. We also want to get a copy of the PDF that started this event. We learned in the event details that it was saved on the user's desktop. Lastly, we will delete the registry key that was used to establish persistence on the Windows system. With that complete, we can close the remote session. Now that the system is remediated, we can use the information we learned to protect the larger organization. We will add the hash of evil.exe to the prevention blacklist. This will prevent any system in our environment from ever running this file again. With that complete, we can also release the network containment on the original victim as it has been fully remediated and protected. Looking back at the Windows system, we can again launch the resume file. While the file still opens, if we look back to the UI, we see a new event. This time, we see a prevention event where evil.exe tried to run but was blocked thanks to the hash prevention in place. The 11060 challenge sets measurable goals to help organizations stay ahead of the game. In order to achieve those goals, it is critical that incident responders have an EDR solution that equips them with complete and timely data. As you have seen in this demonstration, CrowdStrike's EDR solution is up to the task. Within seconds, we were able to identify the prioritized event. The Falcon UI gave us all of the information needed to understand the incident and collect information that would be useful to eradicate this threat. Armed with that knowledge, we used network containment and real-time response to contain the threat, remediate the impacted system, and put protections in place for the larger organization. CrowdStrike's EDR product gives you the performance, information, and tools needed to get ahead of breakouts and protect your organization.